And so we go with this first element on the planet, the hydrogen. And it is the first one to start the periodic table. The periodic table begins from hydrogen. And it is the first element that is formed. And it has a pattern of itself. And that pattern is all about the positively charged proton and its nucleus. And we also have the negatively charged electron that clouds around it. So there is this idea about one proton and one electron. And from this perspective, we see the dual significance of hydrogen, which can be seen from these two aspects of it. And it's you chemical union with the other elements. On one hand, if you see the hydrogen, it can act as an acceptor by receiving an electron from the other elements. Like for example, sodium or lithium for that matter. To form into a metallic hydride. So this is one aspect of the hydrogen where it can simply receive an electron as an acceptor. And on the other hand, it can act as a donor also, which can give an electron as to form, for example, hydrogen fluoride with the element fluorine. So there is the concept of acceptance and the concept of donor. This is what we see the dual side of hydrogen. It is like looking into or having the ability to look into two ways that gives hydrogen an almost a genus-like feeling as that of the Roman deity, which has this typical representation of looking in two ways. And therefore, we can see the hydrogen, the term of it of being the first born, the idea of first born as being both positive and negative, which has the process and pattern to its structure. And therefore, we have this idea of a feeling of being in the presence of pure energy. It's simply the idea of being or having pure energy. And therefore, the atom of hydrogen will be like that of remembering something like a pure energy sort of pattern. And having this pure energy comes with the idea of it being simply isolated on its own. 
even though being with all the other elements in the periodic table, it is yet to be completely formed. So they give you the idea that there is no complete formation. Shall I give or shall I take? Am I the receptor or am I the donor? Do I fit into? And thus comes the idea of its existence. Do I really exist wherever I am? And therefore, if you see the hydrogen, they have this big time thought that I feel I have moved into a different state of consciousness. And the idea of this different state of consciousness comes the idea that there is no guiding post for me or any means of navigation as though I am being lost in the space. So therefore, their feeling of being lost in the open space. And if you see this particular paragraph of Walt Whitman's poem, where it says, towards the unknown region, just matches this aspect of what he writes in that poem, where he completely says, where neither ground is for the feet, where neither ground is for the feet, no map there, no guide, nor any voice sounding, gives a very good picture of the hydrogen state. that there is a big time inability to connect to the surrounding. And one more aspect that comes up in the proving of hydrogen, which generates a similarity with the process of birth, One more proving, one more aspect of the proving, which generates the similarity with the process of birth, is this feeling of being pulled down. And this also gives the idea of the opposite of being floating. The idea of being spacey. And if you see through chemistry point of view, hydrogen is not really one, but three. Where its nucleides are concerned, there are three basic isotopes of hydrogen. H1, which is the ordinary hydrogen. And then we have the heavy hydrogen, what is called as deuterium, H2. And then there is a third one called as the heavy, heavy hydrogen, the H3. And that is the first radioactive nucleide emitting 
a low energy beta particles. And then from the proving, we understand this particular aspect of hydrogen, the idea of space. There's a big theme about this particular series of hydrogen and helium is the idea of space. And since these are gases, they are very light. And this lightness easily gives way to leave the earth against the gravity. And therefore, we see that the earth actually contains only 1% of hydrogen and helium is still even rare. And therefore, the understanding of hydrogen has to do with this idea of conception. The idea of simply being there. And thus, this conflict that they have within them is the idea of existence. Do I really exist or not? And therefore, they constantly have this question in their mind. Am I or am I not there? It is not to do with the material world that we see with the other remedies. It is not something to have something to do with others. But the idea that comes to these people is simply, do I exist or do I not? And so this conflict itself is a big time problem for these people of hydrogen. And if you see the rubrics that is there for this, the idea of being very isolated, the idea of being one with the surrounding, just there. You see this delusion, separated world from one is. Delusion, separated soul, spirit and body are. Sep delusion, soul, body is too small for or that it is separated from. Delusion, strange everything is. I just cannot connect. I just cannot understand. I just cannot be there with whatever is this happening world. Delusion, strange Familiar things are, even familiar things also seem very strange to me. Imagines unreal everything is. I just cannot understand or connect to whatever is happening around. And therefore, the idea of to be or not to be, being incarnating, to be or not to be in this world. They have this particular concept in their mind that is, is this particular life to participate in this worldly existence or not? Can this life participate in this worldly existence?
So the idea is whether or not to incarnate in this world. Do I actually, am I there or not there? And if you see the row one just has these two elements. That is hydrogen and helium. And these two elements are quite symbolic in its general theme. Very symbolic in its general theme. And there are only two possibilities. For the hydrogen, the idea is to be or not to be. On the first column. And then directly on the 18th column of the row one stands the helium where the idea is there is completeness of existence. <laughs>